I used to work as a cat sitter for three years before I started this business. And one time I visited with a client and there was so much caked on litter on the bottom of the litter box. It was disgusting. It took me the entire 30 minute visit to clean the litter box. I was like chiseling and chiseling and I felt like I was mining, but it wasn't for gold. <laughs> So I've been around all different types of litter box setups. I've experienced all different types of litter, cleaning routines and everything. And I've fine tuned a wonderful cleaning routine that I use for Jericho. And it only takes me about five minutes a week. Hello, my friend, it is Jess and my boss Jericho, typical boss sleeping on the job. <laughs> but it is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. So first, let's talk about Jericho's litter box setup and the supplies that I use. So I put his litter box in a quiet, private and secluded area. So it's in between the couch and the closet wall. There's like a little, you know, it's like a little cave, so to say. It's like a little indent, nice little private area. It's in a low traffic area, which is important because cats are vulnerable when they're doing their business. So they like to be able to be private, but they also want to make sure that it's like quiet, you know, low traffic, you know, cause nobody wants to use the bathroom when there's a bunch of things going on and there's mayhem, right? And they also like open. So private and secluded, but also open so that they can survey their territory while they're doing their business. And if we don't provide this to our cats, you know, they can develop some behavior issues around the litter box, maybe some litter aversion. So we wanna make sure that we are making them as comfortable as possible, right? Because let's face it, outdoors, the world is their litter box. So, you know, we're asking them to go to one spot. So let's make that one spot really, really nice and tidy and private and secluded. Obviously, if you have multiple cats, you would have more than one spot. I have one cat, so Jericho has one litter box. Now for supplies, what I use is a stainless steel litter box. And no, you will not find this at your local pet store. I bought this online. There are links to everything that I use in the description below. So I use stainless steel instead of plastic because plastic traps bacteria even with regular washing. So technically we should be buying a new plastic litter box every year, which is a lot of waste for your wallet and for the environment, right? So I use stainless steel. This is a one-time investment. Again, one because I have one cat. If you have multiple, you will buy multiple but it's a one-time investment in that you buy it once and you can use it for the rest of your life. And so the stainless steel is much easier to clean as well. The litter doesn't get caught on the bottom or caked on there. I would also recommend the same with the litter scoop, just because again, no matter how many times you watch pl wash plastic, it's going to lodge bacteria into cuts, scratches, whatever. So use a metal litter box scoop as well. Now for litter, like I said, I've tested all different types of litter when I worked as a cat sitter. So clay, crystal, pine pellets, paper, tofu, corn, wheat, grass. I used to use grass seed litter, coconut, wood litter, and I've also personally tried hemp litter. So pretty much all of them that are on the market, the only ones I haven't tried, bamboo, and there's also cassava or yucca millet and green tea, but green tea is usually mixed with a wood-based litter. And I've also seen an olive pit one, but it says made with 100% olive pits, but I asked them what their ingredients are and they add other things to it. Some kind of like, I don't know, I haven't been convinced to try something else. So the litter that I use is walnut shell litter and I use the unscented version and it does clump. And clumping is important because that allows us to remove the the urine waste from the box. With the ones that are non-clumping, typically you have to mix it along with the clean litter, which, I mean, cats don't wanna walk around on yucky, peepee -pee litter. So I remove the waste and that also makes cleanup much easier at the end of the week. And we will talk about my cleaning routine in the last section. So naturally clumping and also unscented, fragrance-free. Fragrance-free is important because the cat's nose is like 40 times stronger than ours. They're also only a couple inches away from the litter box digging around in it. So if you think this, this smell is strong, <laughs> imagine smelling it 40 times stronger than that. It's scented only exists because we don't like the smell of waste, but 
that's not our cat's fault. It's our responsibility to clean it frequently so that it doesn't stink. So naturally clumping and also unscented, fragrance free. Now, walnut shell is not the absolute best, perfect, oh my gosh, I love it litter. Yes, there are some cons, but compared to every other litter that I've tried and have an experience with, I think it's the best option that we have that's available. I forgot to mention I also used coconut litter as well, and I would love to see a clumping coconut litter that doesn't include clay, unlike one of the brands that includes clay, but they don't tell you that it includes clay. So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect litter. Until then, I haven't been convinced to try anything except for walnut, and I've been using walnut for the past few years. Under the litter box, I use a 100% cotton rug. I got this from Hook and Loom. I really like it. I used to use a double layer litter mat. Then I used the Ripple rug bottom only. Now I'm using the cotton rug. And I'm doing that because I'm upgrading my home supplies and home goods just to use more natural materials. And I really like the rugs. They're very minimal, clean looking. I can vacuum them very easily. They're also machine wash and they're super soft. So I like that I can have that to, to trap the track litter and you know, it's soft on Jericho's paws and it looks nice too. I also have a DIY litter genie. So the, the litter genie itself is plastic and in my experience working as a cat sitter, smelled really really bad so I don't want to use something like that instead I just have a glass candy jug <laughs> make sure the the opening is large enough so that your litter scoop can fit in there because otherwise and also so that you can pull out the the clumps you know after the week when you're about to clean it you can pull out the garbage bag of clumps if the opening is really really small it's not going to work it has to be a large wide opening so this next litter cleaning hack is something that's not you don't think it's related to litter but it is and that is diet so jericho eats a 100 percent raw diet so i was feeding homemade raw now i'm back to ground but i'm going to feed him whole prey in the future that's my plan but the reason that this is important is because one, it's species appropriate, and two, it's easy to digest. Therefore, you're extracting more nutrients from the food and the waste is very minimal. So again, when I was a cat sitter, I would walk into the apartment and the smell, I was like, woo, someone just used the litter box. <laughs> but then compared to Jericho, one time my best friend was over, She's sitting on the couch, and remember the couch is right next to the litter box. And I said, oh, hey, do you mind? Sorry, Jericho just pooped. You, I'm just gonna clean it real quick. And she was like, I didn't even know that he went. And she was sitting right next to where the litter box is. So that just goes to show you that the smell is very minimal. You'll also notice less frequent poops, and that's normal because your cat's using more of the food, therefore there's less waste. So when you're feeding overly processed food, yes, you're saving money on the food, but most of what you're buying ends up in the litter box. So not only is your cat healthier, like Jericho's eight years old, he runs around like he's a kitten, he has very perfect blood work, everything is normal, and also the litter box is so much easier to clean up. So it's a win for him and it's a win for me because it's easier to clean up and I know that I'm feeding him an appropriate diet. Okay, so now my litter cleaning routine, I only spend about five minutes a week. I've heard from other people that it takes them 45 minutes. And like I said in the beginning when I was cat sitting, that one litter box took me the entire 30 minute visit to clean. So we're already using a litter, a stainless steel litter box. We're using clumping litter. So my cleaning routine includes scooping the litter box after Jericho goes every single day. So he pees in the morning and then I scoop in the afternoon. He pees in the evening and I scoop right after that. I wait a little bit for the, the moisture to get absorbed fully. I don't scoop right away because otherwise the clump would fall apart. So wait a few hours, scoop it, then he goes, wait a few hours, scoop it. Same with his poops, that's easier to scoop up because they're small and they're well formed. So I scoop after each use, so multiple times a day, two to three times, depending on if he poops or not, every single day. And then at the end of the week, I clean it out completely every week. I just remove the bag from the litter genie and my DIY litter genie, and then pour all of the litter into that bag put everything, all of my supplies into the litter box and then bring that to the tub. Now, before you tell me that that's disgusting, I live in an apartment and I don't have access to a hose or anything outdoor that I can wash. So my water sources are my bathtub or my kitchen sink. You tell me which one you would prefer. And the other thing is I scrub and clean my tub 
right after I clean Jericho's litter box. So I do all my chores in the same day. Clean Jericho's litter box, right after that I clean the bathroom. So one little nifty hack that you can do is you can buy a pump online and then screw that on top of the Dr. Bronner soap. That's the one that I use. So I use unscented soap. Again, remember we don't want to use very, very strong smelling soap. So I use the Dr. Bronner's unscented soap. It's liquid. I bought a pump separately and it fits on there. Pump, 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 and then I just wash everything with gloves. Okay, so now the hack here, because you might be thinking I don't want to use an entire bag of litter every single week. I don't. One large bag lasts me the entire month, even though I clean the litter box every single week. Dump it completely, wash it out, put fresh litter in there. So what I do, instead of filling the entire bottom of the box, I put a big, nice pile, big mound of litter in the center of the litter box. Now, on camera and in pictures, it might look like this is not enough litter, but trust me, it is. It is four inches deep, and if I need to add more, throughout the week before I clean it out, I can add more. But I do this so that the entire bag lasts the whole month. I'm not dumping the entire bag in there and then keeping that litter in there all month and then washing it once a month. I'm using a week's worth of litter, basically, a lot extra because, you know, there's, obviously they need some place to dig and, you know, move around. And after I scoop, I reshape that mound. So it's always a huge mound in the, in the middle of the litter box. Jericho goes in there, he hops in where there's no litter, he digs, squats, pees. Or if he's pooping, he digs around and then he does his business. Now I have an amazing resource for you that's in the description. It's called the Thriving Cats Bundle. And this includes all of my cat care planners so that you can get good routines for your cats including tracking your cat's litter box and your daily cat happiness. And I also have a Switch to Raw Blueprint video course and a homemade cat food starter kit video course. So this is all of my best products bundled into one, so you'll save a lot of money if you do the bundle. So you can check that link in the description below. Literally, from start to finish, it has everything that you need for your cat. My life would have been so much easier if I had this when I adopted Jericho, but now I get to hand over the solution to you. So check that out in the description below, and thank you so much for watching.